Hey, welcome to Taste This TV. I'm Chef Joe Seminar. We got a great show for you here today. Kong Pong Chicken. That's right, Kong Pong Chicken. Now, many of you might have heard something that sounds similar to it, but the reality is that's my made up version of this hot chicken one day that we had nothing to do. We just threw it in a pan, we added some things, and we created Kong Pong Chicken. It's become a studio hit here at Taste This TV. So we make it a lot for family meal, etc. But I'm gonna show you how to do it today using uh, some incredible liqueurs that I've gotten from New Zealand and some other uh, great products as well that we're gonna be incorporating in this. And at the end of the show, it sort of looks like this. Uh, really nice, sticky, good, a little hot, not too hot, spicy, it's got a little bit of a kick, but really nice stick to your ribs kind of chicken, good stuff. We're gonna get started with da -da 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 -da. Salute Sante grapeseed oil. Now, when you're frying any type of food in some sort of oil, you probably have heard me say this a million times, never use uh, olive oil, right? Because it can taint the flavor. You don't wanna fry in olive oil, but you do fry in grapeseed oil because it's healthier and it has a neutral flavor and it actually picks up and enhances everything that you're frying with. So here we are, boom, right here. Good folks, uh, great product, and we're gonna be using this to fry the chicken. So next, we're gonna be using Barleen's, not any Barleen's, mango peach flavor. Now, you've probably used uh, Barleen's as, as a fish oil and an additive, omega-3, six, nine, you know, really good oils that your body needs. And you've probably picked up that product and drizzled it over your salad or maybe took a teaspoon a day. Um, hence, news flash now, they got flavors. And they're good, let me tell you, they're really good. It's not like flavors that leave an artificial taste on your palate or your tongue or anything like that. I mean, this stuff really enhances the product and at the same time, it's healthy, right? Check them out, they have other flavors. Today we're using their mango peach, but that doesn't stop them from like berry flavor and all this other really good stuff, lime, if you're doing an, uh, a fish dish, etc. Next, we're gonna be using Jimmy's Sauces. Now, Jimmy's Sauces has got a line of sauces that really go good with this. We've been using Jimmy's, they're old friends that taste this TV. Uh, we've been using their sauce in the Kong Pong chicken. And it kind of looks like this, but it's really good. And it's not just a hot sauce, it's a hot sauce with flavor. Yes, there is a difference. You can have hot sauce with absolutely no flavor. Uh, and I, that's a pet peeve of mine. You know, I don't need anything that's just hot just to say it's hot. It's gotta have a little bit of flavor. And there are a few hot sauces on the market that got really good flavor. That's one of them. Now, last but not least, the Cardrona. I'm excited about this one because when I was in New Zealand, um, my cousin introduced me to this incredible liqueur called the uh, Rose Rabbit. The Rose Rabbit here, as you can see here, is their orange liqueur. Uh, we weren't cooking with it at the time, but I took a bottle back here to the States and it was incredible because we deglaze it with a little bit of chicken and it leaves that really nice flavor, that liqueur flavor, but you're burning out all the alcohol too. So it's a really good flavor, nice distilled orange liqueur. It's Everything is small batch and handmade from that company. You know, many people would look at this stuff and say, give me a shot glass, I'm on, and I cook with it. but. Uh, this is this is called the Reed Single Malt Vodka, and I've heard that this is really good. I haven't tried it yet, but I may crack this open, and, and this might be my little uh, ala vodka. I may do a little ala vodka pasta later. I don't know. We just constantly eat on this show. It's it's, it's really disgusting how much we eat. It, it, we just eat, we eat, we eat, we eat. So these are the products we're going to be using today, um, and it's looking good. Looking good. So uh, let's head over to the... First, we're gonna take our chicken. Now, as I talked about a chicken breast, right? There is a right and a wrong way to cut a chicken breast. You wanna slice it on the bias and just put it in there. We're gonna combine it with the flour and stuff like that. So stay tuned, we're gonna to start to get cooking. Okay, so we have our chicken breast here and you just wanna take your spoon and we're gonna take a couple of teaspoons of flour. I'm using a tapioca flour for this, but you can use any other flour that you'd like. Uh, any flour will do. You can grab yourself an all-purpose flour. Just make sure that you want to grab uh, enough flour. Um, and always make sure that the chicken is not sticking to each other like a big ball. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Uh, you guessed that I'm using flour de sal salt. Next, we're going to get a little bit of uh, Mike D's barbecue rub. 
uh, just because I think that a little kick, a little spice, and sort of has everything we need for this dish. We're just gonna put probably like a quarter teaspoon in there, uh, and then we're gonna start to mix this baby up, making sure that we marry all these incredible ingredients together. Now this could get quite messy, so just make sure that uh, you're in line. So as you can see, all these flavors marry itself. And look, it seems, it seems like it's a little sticky. We just add a little bit more of the flour to break it up a little bit. Keep in mind that this chicken is going to be sauteed in the pan, so we want to be sure and be extra careful that nothing is sticking. Now this is good stuff. Now we're going to take this chicken and we're going to move it over to the saute pan where we're going to fry each side. Now it's always best to use a non-stick pan for this. Okay, so add your grapeseed oil. Once you add your grapeseed oil, I mean, you can see it's got a real high smoking point, which is exactly what we need. We're gonna add our chicken, just one side. And once that one side is fully cooked, then we're gonna turn it over. Just make sure your chicken doesn't stick. This looks good. We're gonna return our pot to the flame. Don't be scared. If you need to add a little bit of oil, just add a little bit more. Like I said, this grapeseed oil is a very neutral flavor. It's going to pick it up well. And watch the sear we get on this baby too. Now we're going to flip them over in just a couple of minutes here. We're going to turn them over each side, making sure they're nice and crispy. You can see they're getting golden brown. And really folks, I'm telling you, when you're frying, the oil does matter. We're going to do a show on palm frites and grapeseed oil. It's going to be great. All right, so we're going to turn this chicken around. Looking good. I mean, you could start the basis of, of sauteing this chicken for everything, like chicken scarpaella, chicken contadina, chicken cacciatore. Now, it's important to drain a little bit of that oil. Otherwise, your sauce is going to break up, and that's not what we want. We want the sauce to cook down and coat the chicken. Very important. So we're going to return the pan back to the fire. This is the part we gotta be real careful. We're gonna deglaze the liqueur here. But as you can see, it flambes, right? But don't worry, soon it'll stop and all the alcohol will burn off. All right, so just about when you're comfortable, put that back and you can see that all the flavors have cooked down. We've got the residual sugars down and we get the flavor of this incredible Rose Rabbit, small batch, hand distilled orange liqueur. Check them out. CadronaDistillery.com. Now we're going to add a little bit of Jimmy sauces in there. It's going to be the baseline for this recipe, this Kong Pong chicken. You people are going to love it. And a little bit of Thai ketchup because it's got a little bit of a, a spice, a unique spice. And of course, we can't forget our tomato paste. We're gonna throw that tomato paste in there and we're gonna get that cooking nice and good. And honey. Now I'm using an apple honey today. Yeah, that's right, an apple honey. So they take the apples, they boil them down to a syrup. I mean, it's probably like one one hundredth of a, of a cook down and it becomes very syrupy, goes through pasteurization. So we're gonna put this back on the fire and soon you're gonna to start to see this sauce kind of come together and stick to the sides of the chicken. All right, next we're gonna to start to add this Barleen's, this incredible Barleen's flavor. Now, of course we got their incredible mango peach flavor, but we could obviously use any flavor that they have, but this mango peach just goes really good with this dish. It goes really good with chicken too. And we're gonna to continue to cook this down. You can see it's not getting really nice and glazed. That's what we want, but we're not there yet. We still get about another half reduction on this before it really gets syrupy. And we're gonna plate this baby up. And you can see how the incredible sauce stuck to the chicken. Ah, wow, now that is good. It's got sort of that crispy flavor on it. And it's also got that sweet and tangy, spicy sauce. And we're just gonna layer everything on top. And remember, if we wanted to, we could drizzle like some sesame seeds on top or poppy seeds or something like that. Today, we're gonna to be drizzling a little bit of nuts. Yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of these spicy sunflower seeds. And we're gonna put them all over the top because it just goes good. Nutty flavor with the chicken, the spicy and the sweet sauce is really gonna marry itself just incredibly. 
Now I got some uh, microgreens out of my garden, of course. We're just gonna put a little microgreens on top and there you have it, a wonderful, delicious dish. So this will have it, our Kong Pong chicken, folks. Real easy, there are some stages to this that you need to follow, but for the most part, you can get pretty creative with this. And, and like I said, it could be the baseline for just about anything that you do cook. Um, you're talking about chicken scarpaella. I got to do a chicken scarpaella. I got the meanest chicken scarpaella. And I don't put any peppers or sausage or any of that crap in it. I'm talking about real scarpaella. Lemon, rosemary, chicken, white wine, that's it. Maybe a little bit of butter. But I think we got it going on here. I want to thank you again for tuning in this uh, fun-filled episode of Taste This TV with our Kong Pong chicken recipe. Check out all the ingredients that we use to make this dish and feel free to use this recipe as sort of a teaching tool where you can add and throw in your own ingredients uh, as you please. Because remember, there are no rules in cooking. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Taste This.